What's up, Josh Douglas here. I've gotten some emails from amputees wanting to know, Josh, what are you doing with your left pant leg on your pants? A lot of amputees assume uh, that what I do is take a pant leg and then tuck it up uh, uh, you know, over and then into my belt. I used to do this actually when I was a kid and I've seen a lot of amputees that still do this uh, when they're not wearing a prosthesis. My friends, do not do this. Listen carefully to me. Don't do that, all right? Because you're gonna have all this fabric here. It's gonna come out here. It's gonna make your butt and your lower back look all weird and frumpy, all right? We don't want frumpiness in your wardrobe. So here's what you do. You go to your tailor and you get your pants cut off like so, right? Makes you look very slick looking, all right? Dun -dun. It's awesome, it's just like this. So now, here's exactly how to do it. So here's a brand new pair of pants that I have right here. I'm gonna show you uh, what I do. All right, here's the two things that you want to tell your tailor. Number one, tell the tailor it's very important to cut it so that it is curved. Notice the curvature along these pant legs, okay? This is seriously important, and, and you'll tell them this, and they'll do it wrong, and you're gonna have to take it back and do it over. I promise, because every time I move to a new town, I go to the tailor, they're like, oh yeah, we can do that, and then they cut it straight, and then it looks like this. It's stupid because it's all pointy. It's like, it'll, the pointiness will look ridiculous, I, I promise you. So make sure, make very clear that you want it curved, and also make sure that they know that, assuming you're a hip dysartic or a heavy, heavy hemipelvectomy, I apologize, hemipelvectomies, you have a very difficult name to say, uh, make sure that they know that you want it cut off, you know, right at the top, because you don't want this long, floppy thing here, right? Because that's like wearing a sock and just having it flop around all the time. It's also not very becoming. Okay, so uh, get your pair of pants here. Once you have a pair that you like, use that as a pattern, right? So I'll take this to the tailor, I'll say, make these pants look like this. And I also like to draw a little guide for them. I have some fabric chalk, so I can just trace. I know that basically for me, I want it to be as high as possible. The only limiting factor is this pocket right here. So I'll trace, I know I want it to start, you know, right around here. And I want it curved, so make sure you draw the curve in, uh, you know, in your design. And then come up around, and then you kind of want it to curve back up in here, right? And so then take it to the other and be like, cut it like this, make it awesome. And, uh, and once you do that, my friends, you're going to be looking so fly. It's going to be amazing. People are going to be like, wow, this person is looking so fly. It's going to be amazing. Because that's just what I just said. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, thank you for checking this out. Listen carefully to my instructions. If you did not listen, watch again, and then go to your tailor. Thanks again. Peace.